I will tell you, though, that I did not handle the breakup well. She was, in fact, the first breakup, like, real. She was my first true love. I'll just say it. She was my first true love, and I did not handle it well. You're supposed to have your heart broken when you're, like, 12, when you have your first crush. That's when you're supposed to have your first heartache, not in your 40s. It's supposed to be when you're young, when you're little, when you're resilient, you know? You're like, you realize it's not gonna work out, so you're devastated. No! And I... <laughs> yeah. Not when you're in your 40s. So without divulging too much information, let me just tell you that um, when everything was finalized, um, I was at the gas station and I got a text message basically saying, Everything's been signed, it's official, it's turned in. And I'm like, oh wow, okay. I get in the car, I start the car, and then I put it in drive. And that's when it hit. That's when it became real. That's when it was like, oh my God, I can no longer go home. That's no longer an option. I have messed things up. I can no longer go back to what I called home. I have to restart my life right then and there at the gas station and I had a full-blown meltdown. And some of you know that my tour came to an end a while back and people were wondering, is it drugs, is it alcohol, is it mental health? I was going through my first breakup. How was I supposed to be an effective comedian when I couldn't stop crying? You know what I mean? It was like, it was bad. And you guys have heard the shows before. You know I never bring this up. It was the lowest point of my life. I had never felt so sad, weak, vulnerable, depressed, lonely, everything all rolled into one. And it was at the lowest point of my life that I found. That's right, country music. <laughs> country music knows when you're sad. Country music knows when you're weak. Country music knows when you're vulnerable and you need something to fill the void. I used to fight off country music. I used to look at country music in the face and tell country, you could take your ache, your break your heart, you keep on moving. <laughs> but not today. Let me tell you what's going on. I'm in the car and I'm crying so much. My tears are rolling down my cheek and they're blending with my snot. They're blending with my mocos. My tears are blending with my mocos and then blending with my babas, with my drool. I have three different fluids coming out of my face at the same time. My neck looked like menudo. It was bad. <laughs> All I needed was a pinchy limon and cebolla. That's it, right there. <laughs> I am making ugly sounds, and I don't want to hear myself, so I turn on the stereo, and I started hitting buttons, and it lands on the country station. And I knew immediately that it was country music I was listening to, and I did not try to change the station because I figured, you know what? I deserve to suffer more <laughs> for the mistakes I made and the people I hurt. So I let it play and play and play and play. I listened to country music for over an hour and I came to this conclusion. Country music has at least one song that will speak to your heart directly because you feel like the artist wrote the song specifically about you and your life because of how detailed the songs are. Oh yeah, my hat's off to country music singers and artists. You guys, you, you know how to do something very well, and it's not till you experience a certain time of your life that it makes sense. I'm in that car bawling, and all of a sudden on the radio I hear this. It's been seven days since you seen her. How does he know it's been seven days since I've seen her? You just can't get her off your mind. Cause every little thing that you do or say is another reason you pushed her away. And now you're sitting in your car all alone. Ah! What does he do? Make it stop. And it doesn't stop. It keeps kicking you on the ground, reminding you what a piece of crap you are. You should have gone home and locked the door. But you was outside being a whore. And now you're sitting in your car all alone. <laughs> 